to start, I'm going to roll about twice as much as I need from my card front. So I'm going to go ahead and cut twice as much as I need. And the reason I'm cutting twice is because I'm going to gather it all up. Here goes. To start with, I'm going to adjust my setting to the longest possible stitch length. And I'm going to just go straight down the center of my ribbon. Stitch all the way down the center of the ribbon. There we go. Yeah. Uh, after you're done sewing, you're going to see you have two strings. And I'm just going to pull on one string and see it puckers. And then I'm going to push that down and pucker it all up and you'll push that gathering away down the length of the ribbon. And that's going to gather up your ribbon to give it a fun puckered effect. See how it does that? And I'm going to continue to do that all the way down the length of my ribbon. So now I'm pulling in from the other end. See how it pulls it all into a little ruffled pleat. Now I've pulled it all into a tight pucker, which looks really kind of messy right now, but what I'm going to do is flatten it out onto my card front. I sped this part up so that you can see how I do it so that you don't have to watch it slowly. Basically all I do is I took that messy bunch and I anchored it one edge with a piece of tape and snipped off the edges and then stretched it out and secured the other end with a bit of tape. Now that it's in place, I can flip it over and kind of primp that ribbon to get it exactly how I want so it's evenly bunched out. There you go. One totally optional little detail I like to do is take a bit of this linen thread and a button. And again, this is totally optional, but something I like to do. Because I just like to cover that seam. I just like to cover that little seam up with a button. It's totally not a big deal, but I think it makes a nice little extra touch. Plus, it makes it look like you pleated that ribbon by hand. Nobody can tell you cheated and stitched it. Now your little gap ribbon is gathered and tucked in. Isn't that cute? Thanks for stopping by today.